Well, it's early morning. We're early getting morning. ready to head on in. Yeah. Pretty excited. Perfect yeah. day. No wind, no nothing. Life's pretty good. Life's pretty good. All right, we got the sleds out today. Um, so first time we've ever had to use sleds. We got quite a bit of snow here. We got probably over a foot. Um, so we're gonna ride it on the sleds this morning. This is a spot we haven't hunted in a year or two. Um, we couldn't hunt it last year because it was all gated off. But we're gonna go in this morning with high hopes and hopefully this week after putting in a good week, we'll be dragging out a 200 pound buck, so. We got my dad and Steve-O out here today. So the three of us are gonna head in and see how it looks in there.
He's right there. Let's go. I just had, are you? <sighs> I can't, I, I can't even believe that just happened. I'm sitting here. I, I heard some, some light breaking up in there. I, I couldn't really tell what it was. It, it sounded like, honestly, he stood up out of a bed is what it sounded like. And he, I caught his body walking up probably 60 yards through the brush. I grunted at him real softly. He came walking right down, right towards me, and he stopped dead about 40, 50 yards from me. And just we just locked eyes, and I just, I was trying not to move. I was trying to get the camera on him. And he was just standing there. He just had me pinned. I mean, he was not moving an inch. So I waited, I waited, I waited as long as I possibly could. It was through some, through some pretty thick stuff. I, I didn't really want to shoot through that, but... He, he didn't really present me with anything else, and he started stomping his front foot a little bit. I let out a few more grunts, and he wasn't coming any closer, so. I put it on his shoulder, and I piled him up, that's for sure. He's laying right over there dead. I watched him run. I, I can't exactly tell how big he is. He looks pretty decent. Um, but we're gonna, we'll go over and check him out here in a second, but. Oh my God, I can't even believe that just happened. I mean, that is. What a morning. You can see just how deep this stuff is. I'm on a shore right now. I mean, it's up to my knees. Oh my god. He's a monster, boys. Place for my gun. Oh, what a buck. oh my god, guys, look at this. Look at the tines on this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. This guy's brow tines. Are you kidding me? This is a Northwoods buck if I've ever seen one right here. This is as good as it gets. This is the reason we come out here hunting. This right here, everyone, is the reason that I come out here in the main woods to hunt for absolutely beautiful bucks like this. I, I give this deer the most respect that any deer I've ever killed. He fought just as hard as he could. Um, ultimately, he was no match for, for the bullet, but oh my God, what a beautiful deer. I can't get over this buck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If you count this little guy over here. Whew. He's gonna be close to 200 as well. So, we'll see. All right, guys. Oh, just getting down to this buck. Oh my God, he is a beast. Um, he came in pretty early this morning. Um, I heard him, I let out a few soft grunts and I heard him up on, up on the ridge up, up in front of me. So, just getting a good look at this buck now, guys. Oh my God, he's a beast. And he's an absolute monster. He's been rubbing and stuff. He's got uh, tree bark up in his antlers. I mean, oh my God, guys. I uh, 
I went up and got in my stand and I don't know, geez, it must have been around 7.30 or so. Um, I let out a few soft grunts and I heard some rustling up in the brush. Um, and then I saw him walking across and to the left and he stopped just for a second. I hit the grunt call. He was, he was way too far and way too deep and too thick to shoot at him. Um, I hit the grunt call and he just came right at me. I mean, he took a beeline right for me um, and then he stopped probably about 50 yards away from me and just stood there and just stared at me. I mean, we stared at each other for 10 minutes. Um, he just wasn't gonna back down, you know? He started stomping his foot and when he did that, I didn't wanna let him get away, so. And I honestly didn't really see how big he was. He looked just like a, a decently heavy eight or something like that, I couldn't really tell. Um, but I shot and I ended up hitting him right on the other side here, right in the shoulder and just blowing out his shoulder completely with the 270. Um, he went, he piled up up here about, I don't know, I could see him from my stand. I gave him 20 minutes and then I came in and when I got to him, I saw he was still breathing a little bit. So I was gonna walk up, you know, and just maybe put one in his neck or do something, you know, or just sit there and back off, you know. I kind of just stood there and when I was doing that, he just picked his head up and looked right at me. And when that happened, I, I dropped the camera, I think, I don't even remember. I tried to get my gun up, I couldn't get a shot. And I, I heard him crashing, but I heard him stop. So I knew he wasn't going very far. Um, so I just snuck up and he ended up getting up right here, running down the trail. I shot him in the back. Uh, I hit him right here, trying to pile him up and he, he went down. But I mean, this buck has more fight in him than, you know, any buck I've ever seen and had to come up and put another one in his neck. I mean, three shots to get this deer down. Three pretty lethal shots on this deer with a, with a very good caliber in the 270. So I just have more respect for this deer than any other deer that I've ever taken. Um, and it's an absolute monster. So we're gonna pack him out of here, take some pictures and enjoy the rest of our day. I mean, this was a beautiful day, so. 2018, man, what a year.